here in Barcelona and look at what I have in front of me. Hey guys, back again with another comparison between the Pixel 8 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're in Barcelona, but let's go back to Paris first because this trip uh, was a journey with two, two different places. Now, we're looking at the Eiffel Tower, and this is a night video with both the Pixel and the iPhone. As you can see, we at 1X here, and color-wise, the Eiffel Tower at this time is in the middle, but when we go to, of course, ultra-wide, the the iPhone just kind of looks a little bit off with the colors. But again, still really solid for both of them. Now, starting off with an ultra wide image, I do like the iPhone here, but the colors of the tower are closer with the uh, Pixel. The sky is really black with the, uh, with the iPhone, taking away a lot of that light bleed that you're getting with the Pixel. But the Pixel is pretty wide though. Then we go to a 1X shot here, and this is where, again, the color schemes for both devices of what the Eiffel Tower looked at at the time is pretty much in the middle in between both of those. The iPhone keeps the sky really black, and I really kind of like that. It kind of focuses on the image itself. Uh, then here's another shot here as we move over to 2X. Uh, you can see more detail a bit more with the iPhone than with the Pixel, uh, and again, that light bleed is very prevalent on the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, here we are at a 5X look on the device here, and you can see um, a lot of detail with this, both images. But again, you notice that black sky on the iPhone. It's very eerie, it's very, it's very interesting that that actually is, still stays there. And of course, we zoom into the Max here, and you can see the, the, a lot of particulates on the Pixel over the iPhone. But again, both of them have done a really good job in showing some detail there on the images you are looking at. Now, of course, I'm here with some friends, and this is a really good shot of just both everyone here out hanging out in Paris. Lovely look. And you can see there's just more detail on the iPhone over the Pixel. Um, and again, less of that lightning on the background that you will find on the Pixel. That's just an interesting perspective here. Now, when we move over to this image, you can see what I mean by lightning here. There's a, this extra light source towards the left of my sister-in-law and brother-in-law here in the photo. You can see the iPhone kind of keeps it very balanced while the overall image on the Pixel feels like it's brightened up so that you can brighten up, you know, both couples here in the photo. I kind of like what the iPhone is doing, very balanced. Here's another one here, which is quite interesting. The background is, yes, the lighting is yellow, which you can see on the iPhone, but the Pixel does a better job in brightening the scene. And this is where that brightening has an advantage. Uh, as you see both couples here, as I'm trying to be a professional photographer and capture things really smooth. Now, this is portrait, and the Pixel does 1.5X, iPhone does 1X. And you can see the Pixel image just looks more flattering, just really nice. The uh, iPhone didn't really capture that portrait at the time. Of course, I can go in and uh, change it, but I wanted to just give you what directly was from the camera. Same with the shot here and the Pixel. The Pixel 1.5X really looks tight, taken from the same position, uh, and really gives you an idea of what that 1.5X can do for images when you're taking portrait uh, photos. Really nice, and again, brightened up, it looks good here. Now this one was difficult because of the sweater I was wearing here, and you can see the iPhone really struggled, bringing a lot of the yellow in, yellow background, all that stuff compared to the Pixel, which was a bit better here in terms of the color matching. So I really like what the Pixel did here. Plus you could see the cobblestones a little bit better on the Pixel uh, 8 Pro. Now I think when we go back to video, this is where the pixels really improve. The iPhone video, I think, still looks better. The colors just match better, better stabilization. But you can see how well this pixel has done here, especially in a low light setting. Now, Paris is a lovely place. We were there for about two days, um, celebrating my sister-in-law's birthday. Captured my wife here, of course, in front of the Arc de Triomphe. And ultra wide shot here. The color balance on the Pixel really shines um, overall. The iPhone kind of makes it a little bit muted in terms of look, but still really solid. But now, let's head over to Barcelona.
quick one here on just a video capture daytime. Pixel's really improved. Stabilization is still better on the iPhone, but I'm quite impressed with the Pixel. We're using the front-facing camera, 4K 30. This is a lovely city. Just look at that. Just look at that right there. Honestly, food was amazing in Barcelona. Everywhere we went, oh, it was delicious. But let's go back to some of the images here. You can see this, the color differences between both images. Again, still really solid, and you can see what the color profiles are. But as you look closer with this plate, the pixel makes the plate really stand out white, and all the colors come up pretty clean, while the iPhone's a bit duller and more of the yellow tint. Same thing with the s -car Go here in the shot. So a lot of those color profiles are picked up from the lighting in the background. As you can see here with the, the beef tartare, where you can see the richness, the red for the Pixel, the iPhone's a bit duller here. But that being said though, I found a Real Madrid store here in Barcelona. Can you believe it? Yes, I couldn't either. So I definitely had to go ahead and check it out and just pick up some gear. I've been a Real Madrid fan my whole life. And you know, this mural here was great. I watched Zidane, I watched Ronaldo uh, from Brazil. I watched Luis Figo. I watched David Beckham play. I watched all these stars play. And this team has been like a centerpiece in my football journey. And of course I had to get a kit here. At, uh, I was in the store. I mean, there was just nothing else I was gonna do. Um, put my name on it as well. And I got to see a Champions League trophy here in Barcelona from Real Madrid. Now, this image is quite interesting. The uh, pixel brightens up the overall background and also the very top of the sky compared to the iPhone. Same here with the, the church here. It's an ultra wide shot. You can see the brick on the church is just much more grounded than the iPhone. And now you find that with buildings across that the pixel does brighten up the brick and even just the corners here of this wide shot as we do a daytime zoom test here. So that was ultra wide, this is 1X, and you can see again, the buildings on the left are brighter uh, than the iPhone. And then we're moving closer, we're going closer to that church there. And you can see just the images on the pixel are brighter uh, than the flatter images on the iPhone. Now, this is where the iPhone zoom, I think, does a better job. There's more detail, there's more detail here in this final shot than that on the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, of course, we're not gonna go to Spain without checking out La Sagrada Familia. This wonderful cathedral is impressive that it's 140 years and not finished. But what you noticed is that, yes, even in zoom, the iPhone has a little bit more detail and the Pixel is just a brighter image of the structure, which is quite interesting. But you know what? That's kind of maybe a preference. And what I really want to talk about is Cava's. Yes, you know, I guess you could call it champagne, but Cava is, is beautiful, it's tasty, and we got to tour a Cava um, winery in, in, uh, in Spain. And uh, this place had a capacity of up to 2.5 million bottles stored on the ground, which is impressive. And as you look at the images, you're gonna see a lot more of that brightening. And this room was super dark. Now, uh, this next image I wanna show you is quite interesting. See the pixel? There's more, you can read the letters on the barrels much clearly than the iPhone, which is quite, quite impressive. So I like the fact that in those settings, again here, you can see more of the barrel than on the iPhone, but the Pixel really does more in darker scenes than what the iPhone can do. Uh, here's a shot again of my wife outdoors, 1.5X to one. And this is a direct sunlight shot where I think the iPhone does a better job at keeping focus on the trees. Again, here's the brightness that I talked about. You're gonna see it a lot with Pixel images across the board, but still, Extreme low light video is one that is difficult for the Pixel, uh, especially in settings like clubs where there's different lightings and stuff like that. But you know what, how does that stack up against the iPhone 15 Pro Max when you're in a rough setting and uh, a lot of colors are in front of you?
you can clearly see as you look at both videos from the Pixel 8 Pro and the iPhone, that the iPhone uh, does a much better job with the colors. There's also l way less grain here as we're watching the flamenco dancers and oh my God, this thing was impressive. The amount of footwork, the work, and doesn't this guy look like Mr. Mobile here right in front of you? But um, again, this now here is another scene with very colorful appearances. Now, while you look at the pixel, the colors really stand out and the reds really punch up, but there's a lot of grain at the very top and the image is not as clear, sharp as you will. While the iPhone keeps it more balanced to the scene and also just to the environment overall. The one thing I do like with the Pixel 8 Pro and with photography is that it lets you capture very stylistic moments. So I try to, try to play amateur photographer with my friends on the strip, capturing them in just different places, locations, again, different moods, things, whether it was the clubs we went to, the bars we went to, and honestly, definitely go check out Paradiso, one of the best bars on the planet. The cocktails are great, the pricing is great, uh, the service, uh, I know I'm hyping them up here, but you do have to check it out but I was able to use the Pixel 8 Pro for the settings. It's something it doesn't do as well, but I do like where the camera is going and what it actually brings and captures for you, which I think a lot of people would appreciate on the road. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video comparing the iPhone 15 Pro Max and uh, the brand new Pixel 8 Pro here in Barcelona and some of Paris as well. It's just fun. Let me know what you think guys and leave your thoughts who won this battle then. Is it the iPhone 15 Pro Max or is it the Pixel 8 Pro? For the next one guys, enjoy your entertainment.